Hello guys and welcome back to a new Applied Energy 6 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a deeper look into Printed Silicon. Printed Silicon is made in the Inscriber with uh, an Inscriber Silicon Press and a Silicon and um, I will show you how you can do this. Um, firstly we need an Inscriber and this Inscriber needs some energy. You can use an energy cube for example or you can connect it with your energy cable network. Okay, And um, um, the next one is we need a silicon press we need a silicon and i will show you how you can do it you need to use the inscriber silicon press on the top as uh, bottom top uh, side uh, slot and um, you can uh, connect a hopper or you use a chest for example to put in some silicon and um, now you can see that our inscriber is running and we are getting out some printed silicon and that's fine and if we take a look at our great wall um, in the background we can see um, in which part we can use the printed silicon. If we need a printed silicon for our processors. Um, and there are some logic processors, calculation processors and engineering processors. And if, and if we take a look, we can see that we have um, used this inscriber um, from the right side with a chest and a cable. Um, we can see that we have um, placed in an inscriber silicon press and if we put in some silicon, it will run, okay. Um, and for from the front side of our inscriber, we are pushing out our printed silicon and we go to the next inscribers and um, where we are producing some processors. Uh, for, for example, logic processor, um, engineering processor and at least the calculation processor. And um, yeah, and, and that means it's part of the processors of Applied Analytics 2. And um, yeah, I hope I could sh show you something about um, printed silicon and how you can automate um, your processors in Applied Analytics 2. Thanks for watching and bye.